show you how to dislocate a battery with a welding machine, a steel welder, a DC steel welder. As we saw in the previous video, I showed you how to diagnose a sulfate battery in a battery bank system. I took out this ba individual battery, as we checked in the previous video. I took it out from here, and I'm going to put this battery. I'm going to desulfate this battery with this uh, welding machine, a steel welding machine, a DC welder. Now, I hook up the uh, positive side, positive side, positive to positive, and negative to negative. Okay? From the, from the welding machine, negative to negative, and positive to positive side, right? This is positive side, and this is the negative side. Okay, now we're gonna check, we're gonna read the amperage also with this carbide. Also, it has a gauge, has a dial. Has a own reading. You can set uh, the uh, amperage higher and lower. So we have to be careful because this this battery is a C10 battery. So, so it's a low discharge battery okay so and also a uh, pair manual it's uh, this is the battery is a lead acid battery 12 volt battery the maximum uh, amperage maximum charging amperage should not exceed uh, 30 amp so uh, we're gonna put this battery and Desulfate the battery right now. Oh, so let's do it. First, let's turn on the welder now. Let's turn on the welder. Okay, now the welder is on. Okay, let's check the voltage. Okay, let's check the voltage now. Let me check the voltage. How many voltage is uh, going through? Okay. Check the voltage. So let's put this here. Positive to negative. Give gives the battery 18.5 volt. That's great. That's great. And let's let's check the amperage now. How many amperage is uh, going through the battery right now? Check the amperage through here. We have 50 amps going through the battery. Okay, 50 amps is going through the battery so we, we need to do, what we need to do is to boil the battery to uh, to break that uh, sulfated crystallization uh, crystals on the plates just to clean the plates uh, uh, so we need to do that so right now we have 50 amps going through the battery we need to uh, uh, boil the battery to desulfate the battery to clean the plates from the crystal crystallized sulfated crystallization uh, hopefully they are not hard enough and they are brittle to be uh, cleaned off the uh, uh, plates so I'm gonna keep you posted okay uh, leaving the uh, the desulfation process for several hours uh, until I see the battery boils and uh, uh, check the results later periodically we check the uh, the temperature of the battery like that we check the temperature of the battery if it's uh if it's warm uh if it's a little bit warm it's okay but it's if it's hot uh, we shut down the system and let it cool down okay uh because if it's hot it will ruin the battery it'll just uh the battery will just uh, buckle okay so we won't let this happen okay thank you the batteries are in the process of desulfation 
and they are boiling very bad they are boiling very good as you can see here let me show you as you see here okay it boils like uh, hell you see here look this is what we do this is what we want we want the batteries to boil all the cells are boiling and also we have fume we have fume coming out and gases we have gases coming out from the cells so you have to be careful you have to open windows open windows that we have to uh, have ventilation in the uh, in the room okay because the because this is a lead acid battery so it, it, you have the hydrogen gas coming out from the cell out of the cells hydrogen gas coming out of the cell so you have to have ventilation it's uh so right now uh let's check the amperage from the How many amp is going through the uh, the battery? See, as you can see here, as you see here, is there 41 amps going through the battery? Okay, 41 amp DC is going through the battery. Uh, so this is uh, this is how you boil it. Okay, so we want to boil the battery. So let's see the voltage. Let's check the voltage also. Okay, let's check the voltage. I'm gonna put it on DC. Uh, check the voltage now. Okay. I'm gonna put it positive and negative. Check the voltage we have. Uh, this is on the amp, amp, sorry. Let's check the voltage. So we have 70.2 volts going through the uh, battery. 40 amp going through the battery so this is good so we're gonna leave this uh, like that for a couple of hours uh, maybe uh, two three hours uh, until we see the results we check the voltage again hey what's up guys the uh, desulfation of the uh, the battery is done and, and and let's go check the voltage and the, uh, the capacity of the battery and we're gonna check the voltage uh, and put the battery to the load test. Let's do it. Um, okay, I'm gonna put the uh, on the volt DC. Okay, let's check the voltage. As we previously checked uh, before the desulfation process, we uh, checked the battery. It was totally, it was heavily desulfated, and the voltage was very low. So let's see the volt. The voltage should be read 12.5 and higher. Let's check the voltage see 12.7 it's good but uh, it's not enough we have to double check it through the uh, put the battery to the load test okay so we're gonna put the battery uh, to the 100 amp load tester it should when I clamp it through uh, by the clamp meter it should read uh, 100 amp or and a little bit higher maybe 110 114 uh, let's do it uh, clamp the, I'm gonna clamp the positive and negative side. Positive side to the negative side of the battery. This is negative. And this one's positive. Okay, now it's good. Also, yeah, as you see, the voltage is read uh, 12.8. So I'm gonna put the battery on the, to the load test. I'm gonna click it. Once I click it, uh, I'm gonna have to, also I'm gonna reading I'm gonna be reading the amperage of the battery. See how many amps is reading. Flowing through the load tester. I'm gonna put it like that. Okay, so you, can, so you guys can see it. Okay. It's a little bit. Okay, now. And there we go. Wait. It's a little bit. So it's on 40 amp. So because it's more than 40 amp is flowing through that uh, load tester, so you have to uh, put it on a higher uh, degree. So I'm gonna put it on 600 amp and check the amperage again. 
as you can see 100 amp 100 amp and the voltage 10.5 once i release the uh the uh, lever it's the voltage should turn back to 12.5 and higher let's see if it's going back to 12.5 and higher okay 12.4 um i just okay it's 12.5 is great look 12.5 so that means the desulfation process was being suspect uh the desulfation process was successful <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and fully charge the battery uh, uh but with the with the inverter with that inverter okay uh the desulfation process was totally successful because the voltage came back to normal the 12.5 and the amperage was reading the uh the amperage was reading 100 amp and higher so uh that's it this is how you do it with the melding machine only with this you can do the desulfation with the welding machine okay and this battery is also was uh, put through the uh, desulfation process and um, this battery is also uh, successfully desulfated okay thank you